my screen is visible or not hello my screen yes, is visible right yes okay uh, so before going to start about aws azure this is the tools we have to know about the cloud computing so subhabrato and harshadi uh, do you have any idea that uh, what is cloud computing is that yeah so can so, you please share your ideas that what is cloud computing yeah um so whatever the computing computation processes we run locally when we do it on server that's called cloud, cloud computing okay and harshadi any idea uh yeah pretty much the same like uh, like we have servers so instead of working over there we have the same thing over the cloud like a virtual thing okay so uh, uh cloud com computing means here we refers to the processing right we have to process something in the server virtually so in the cloud computing we can say that everything whatever uh, we uh, if we create any website or if we want to create some apps right so where i have to create so what is the requirement so application is required one web application is required one storage is required in server is required right so these things every this element this is a component we can say that this all components are available in the cloud so it's a on demand remote availability of resources means the resources are there on demand and your storage networking your manage uh, data governance data management all things are covered in the cloud computing so it's processing cloud com in the cloud computing in and it has one model right that you can go pay as you go model means if you one how much am um, uh, cloud server you can use as per that you can pay for the budgets so you can also set your bills over there and there is three main model of the cloud computing as a server like pay as you go model apart from that on demand and spot three models are there so pay as you go model approach where user only pay for the resource based on uses how much uses how many uses you are doing in the servers in the clouds that you can only pay for that and this is one main component like saas pass and yes so this is a model service model so we can say that before uh, in the cloud computing everything whatever we can deliver in the cloud so it has two parts on premises and the cloud on premises means the uh, i am doing uh, the jobs and i am doing some components i am doing write some codes where in my local system in my system right so this is your on premises in the on premises you can see the model i have used the managed by you so here cloud has no responsibility to manage application data runtime middleware os virtualization these are all required component in the cloud computing so these all things in the on premises you have to manage right and when we go to the infrastructure as a service iaas in a infrastructure of service you have to manage you have to provide to the cloud application data runtime and your operating system let's see that you want to create you you have one websites you have one application that 
you everything you want to deploy in the cloud there is one model and you have used your own data and your own operating system but cloud will manage your servers storage networking and virtualization the vms that is called infrastructure as a service and in platform as a service you only manage your application and data other things will take care by the vendors vendors means a cloud this cloud platform whatever you will go like azure aws or gcp so your runtime middleware ways virtualization server all things are maintained by the cloud in the platform as a service and software as a service you don't need to take care of anything everything will be managed by the vendors you just go and log in over there and do whatever you are doing so is this is the all three important models this is called a service model on the clouds so on premises infrastructure as a service pass and software as a service so any query any questions regarding that and uh, koshi yeah uh, so can you just brief what is middleware what is runtime or os like in terms of devops yes so ways means i mean you just think uh, don't think about the cloud don't think about that on premises so you just tell me if you uh, host one website right in a yes. uh, in a normal web application you are hosting so what kinds of thing you are required don't don't think about the cloud what thing you you have to provide means you have one website okay. you have you want to host the website in the server so what main things one what main components you want required for that uh, one thing is our code must be deployed yes so you have one code base right what yes. code base is there that code base you might uh, deploy uh, you it might be an html file it might be any javascript file it might be dot net it's a code it's total in the if i will take one wrapper so it's a code base right yes rather than not any uh, language you can use so one code base is required then next what do you require uh then one server hosting server yes one server is required right where yes. your code will be processed over there means storing server means where storage you have to store you have to hold application right so yes. storage is required next next uh, one database must be required one database is required right so yes. like if you want to rds may uh, sorry sql mysql whatever database you want this is required right one yes. database is required so all thing if you will if you will manage means you want you will provide these things for your own website suppose you have one blog website right you want to host so this is called your on premises here cloud not entertain anything for that you manage your application means your code base you manage your data means server your sql mysql that db database you provide one server operating system you provide so everything you will manage right in yes. the on premises this is called a on premise model where you only provide all those things cloud will never entertain any kind of things right it's the on premise if you want to host anything for your website right and you purchase one domain and you have to map the domain in your server right this yes. is the main funder we all know these things right okay. this is the on premise let's see three main things iaas one model paas one model and saas one model infrastructure as a service infrastructure means your application your runtime operating system middleware means api you have to write one api right okay. you you want to use some dot net code right you want to use some php code right so yes. this is the middleware so it's called your infrastructure you can tell me uh, what is the infrastructure of any school what is the infrastructure of any college you can tell me what's called infrastructure infrastructure means the surroundings right what is needed for that particular thing you want to require right okay so these all things 
managed by you means you 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 are providing your code base right you are yeah. providing your operating systems okay Hello? okay okay got it yes yes so this is your infrastructure right always uh, tally about the real life examples right okay. so you can much more exposure to understand this kind of things so if when you will provide these things application data runtime middleware and os this is called your infrastructure and cloud will give you one platform where cloud provides servers right you okay. no need to and you no need to worry about the servers okay servers will provide by cloud storage will provide means where you have to store the data store the application that also provide by the cloud okay vendor vendor so okay. this is called infrastructure as a service this model is called infrastructure as a service means it's a shared model you have to provide something cloud also provide something both as a mutually agreed and create one model this is called a infrastructure as a service model okay okay and next model is platform as a service where your responsibility only provide applications and data you only provide applications means your code base and your data means your database mysql sql this you only provide all rest of the things like runtime middleware ways virtualization servers networking to communicate with the between the servers all things are provided by the cloud this is called platform as a service right okay and software as a service you no need to pay a, you no need to worry about the infrastructure like application data runtime anything cloud will provide all things like one example is gmail gmail you are using right yes and office 365 you are using right yes this yes. all are a software as a service okay. where you will what you will do you will log in over there right okay. and you will do your jobs over there you no need to worry about your data you no need to worry about the applications you only log in and then create something and then save this is called software as a service these all called are service models all things are clear up to that yes okay any questions uh, from anything ha goshik yeah can you please explain a little uh, in in brief about virtualization i will come next not oh. an issue it's to step by step i will come this ha. is the oh. first we have to under we have to uh, uh, know the building block what is the requirement right if what the requirement of creating one server uh, one uh, platform in the cloud right so i will come one by one okay thank you okay so you can see in the ias whatever i told up to that that ias also known as hardware as a service means your infrastructure you will provide so services are highly scalable and the this is a characteristics the ui and api based access you will get it automated administrative tasks you can also do it the example is that amazon web service aws whatever you use this is infrastructure as a service digital ocean meta cloud these all are example of infrastructure as a service pas pas example is that heroku you are using right heroku.com you all know this right this yes. name we must cloud this all are example of pass and sas is that your sales for some sales some sales for guy they are doing that uh, regular sales stuff so this is inside the sales for gen desk and the slack go to meeting whatever we are using that is called sas on demand software this is called now we what we will cover in this five or six days training 
that is mainly focused on the developer associate program right aws developer associate so what is the requirement of aws developer associate this all things i will cover over here so we are we are covering ec2 the machines will cover s3 will cover the elastic beanstalk the cloud container where i will deploy my code this is the infrastructure as a service this all things will be covered one by one so now what is aws we can see that aws is much more demanded rather than other clouds we have more multiple cloud cloud based uh, cloud service provider this uh, uh, aws is there azure is there alibaba.com is there google gcp google cloud provider also there so we can see that it has 175 on demand cloud service it has this 175 services the service are extended to individuals they are providing the service to individuals the companies and pay as your payment model so this is the aws the history of aws when the aws will be started aws started their journey from 2003 and that time the idea of integration the aws web service how they will created the servers services that has been started from 2003 and 2004 aws released its first service called simple pay this service they have first they have introduced and after that 2006 they have officially launched amazon s3 simple storage service the storage application service they will provide it and 2007 they have created the ec2 service simple db and so on the journey is going on and now 2090 onwards aws crossed dollar 10.2 billion in the first quarter so this is the journey from 2003 to 2022 20 from the 2000 this report was told that 2029 aws crossed these billions in the first quarter this is a huge success in the from the aws side and they have provided so many services rather than means must uh, the uh, core um, core service and plus utility service plus secondary service they have 175 service they have provided and why we will using the aws this is the features of aws right right reliability security cost effectiveness and scalability reliability means that downtime is very less over there means if you add if you uh, host any websites web server in the aws the downtime is very less they are known there there is no downtime means if anything is happened so aws provides the ultimate other thing and aws provided 99.99 percentage reliability in terms of uh, the downtime scalability you can create scalable applications means today you have two pages website tomorrow it can be five pages website that as the infrastructure you also scale, 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 scalability here i mean to say the infrastructure scalability not the code base My, might be you have two vms running inside your server tomorrow it can be 5 10 200 so as per the scalability aws provider support service and security their security is also based and the cost effectiveness they have three models for the cost uh, provided the pay as per model they have provided on demand and the on spot on demand pay as a pay, pay as you go model and the on spot model this cost effectiveness aws that's the features flexible scalability to adjust the capacity and maintain a steady and predictable performance and security purpose also whatever i told the reliability service resilience to product and infrastructure disruption the, that 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 these three main features of aws that's why most of the people most of the companies they are also prefer the aws and also the performance cost optimization you you can choose your cost you can optimize your cost this is the main benefits of the aws and the flexible means web application database operating system you can select as per the free these models are there i will show where you can understand you can 
get your all uh, means you, when you create the application that before that you can uh, go with some budgets so this budgets wise how much budget will come the, if you utilize the resources this budget you can also predefined you can also under you can also see that if i will take two computing services two ec2 EC and two s3 bucket then how much cost will be there so this flexibility is there for the aws now i will uh, show this link like aws has 26 regions what is regions that i want to see over there this is the link one minute So this is the global infrastructure. You can see that 26 region. Region means the when you uh, means AWS has spread across the world, right? Everywhere AWS centers are there. So in India, they have one center in the Mumbai. This is the region. Region means where your data center are placed inside the data uh, the data center are placed so this is the, this is called the region so aws has 26 regions and this region has multiple availability zone availability zone means if your web servers if your application is not working the downtime the another server or another availability zone they will provide this is called the availability zone and they have 84 availability zones so we can say that inside the regions availability zones should come right and they have 17 local zones eight announced regional eight annual regions and this is the service over there and we can see that aws global infrastructure this is called So where AWS are there? This uh, you can see that uh, three availability zone in Hong Kong. They have three. This is a region, right? All the marker is coming. This is called the availability zone. And recently they have launched the availability zone, the Hyderabad. Not coming soon. It's coming soon. Not Hyderabad is not launched, but Mumbai they have three availability zones, and it was launched in 2016. So you can see. Any question to that? Hello? Not yet, question. Okay. So Canada, they have uh, three availability zones. This is the global infrastructure of AWS. So these uh, marks are called the coming soon. So this availability zone should come early in the uh, stage and and it's a globally distributed in in the aws regions and availability this is called the uh aws cloud infrastructure and you will uh, see that with this link you can understood that how many regions over there they have 26 regions so total aws data centers are been grouped clustered with the regions so this is the speciality that high availability fault tolerance scalable architecture aws has provided now we are coming that aws services so aws has six or seven core services one is compute means where my for the computation part the processing part one server one vm are required right virtual machine so this is called the compute in the they, they are providing compute 
they are providing storage they are providing database application networking and management this is our aws core services and if you broadly categorize these services are coming compute storage database application management and networking so what is compute service the compute service means where the your processing is going on and you can store your data it's like a normal lap, normal co computer where your you can uh, vm means virtual machine where you can store your data you can store your application you can run your jobs processing engine you can provide it so compute service from amazon provide resizable compute capacity in the cloud which is intended to make web scale computing easier for developers so this is a compute service allow quick scaling when computing requirement change means you can scale up and scale down your compute service today you have uh, five or six computing service means vms you require tomorrow it might be re required to seven or eight you can increase also and you can also decrease this is called the compute service of the aws and when we see for the compute service how compute service are working they have these services amazon ec2 this dedicatedly for the compute service amazon ecr this is a container based compute service amazon ecs eks this all are service but here we just only cover the amazon ec2 and um, some part of ecs these two things we will cover uh, these all services are there ec2 and ecs will be covered in this uh, in this course and storage service you can see in the storage service from the amazon uh, they have uh, provide the you can store access and analyze data to reduce cost increase agility and acceleration innovation so amazon storage means your s3 s3 buckets you can uh, add your websites you can add your uh, any files over there so this is the storage service it's called the amazon storage service and for the storage service dedicatedly for amazon s3 amazon efs amazon evs aws backup also be there aws snow family this also be amazon storage service and the aws storage gateway and data sync this all coming under the storage service database service uh, they are providing the rds uh, database service means what the database you are normally used for your day to day life like uh, mysql sql dynamo db there will also provide this is fully managed wherever i call the managed service that means aws will take care all the things you no need to think about your app, uh, your uh, database uh, up and down your database is not working this is all covered by the aws this is called the managed service managed service means it's aws headed to manage all things and it's also scalable and highly efficient this is the amazon database is one service and for the database service we have amazon rds red ship dynamo db amazon elastic cache ul db all are coming under the database service so any questions after this i uh, move forward yes uh why yeah. there are so many services like uh, for uh, processing for, um, yeah. for computation and uh -huh. why there is many services like database services yes. what is the difference difference is that means if you want means you think if you have one application right so uh -huh. in the application you have uh, this is a two tier application two tier means front end and back end two tier uh -huh. application right so in the front end huh. what you need you have one code base okay. it might be angular it might be react it might be jquery whatever the code base you have okay. so if you have this front end application so you have to host somewhere you have to store the application right you have to keep the application 
so that's why i will go not ec2 service i will go storage service you okay, the same result you will get means if you store the store these things in the ec2 the same result you will get but the cost it's yeah. very high over there because computation means processing right mm, so yeah. when the when you, when the application will run then all modules will be processed right so that right. requires some kind of amount effectiveness right okay in okay. that case i will host this front end in the s3 bucket s3 ah. is very cheap and very less as ah. compared to ec2 model correct because in the ec2 is a computing service correct whatever so if we not required uh, means the same result we are getting so why we will go for the ec2 service i will go to the storage service right ha huh. okay one another question and in the back end in the hmm. back end i will go in the database service i will huh. not come in the ec2 still now for the front end uh, two tier application no, because for- in the ec2 service when i will use when uh, one job is required right one cron job is running daily scheduling is running so there some processing is required uh-huh. in s3 is not the right place for the computation no that i get kashik uh, can you go back to um, the processing services ha uh, what is the difference between ec2 ecr uh, ec2 and ecr ecr is a container based service means you are using docker right acha ha you one netis you are using right yes so it requires some cluster means acha so it requires that means you have some big data application ha uh-huh. uh-huh. so big data application you require hadoop hdfs right ha uh-huh. ha in the hdfs the uh-huh. two models are working that's called name node and the cluster node correct means name node and the sar- 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 <clears throat> sar- node, right you understood hmm. yeah so that's why when the big data type of application we are from we are up, uh, we are going to host in the aws ah. that time we are we are going to the ecr ah. it's a container container ah. means in a, you, you if you are using deep right inside the deep i am ah. going to that apply that example i am going to the front end side so you can ah. easily understood so you, if you are on deep inside the wrapper deep you have multiple deep right yeah the so wrapper deep is a amazon ecr Ah, okay. It's a container. Inside ah. the container, you can create your cluster. You can create your master node, name node, cluster node. Anything you can do. Ah. And this cluster you are creating ah. because this, if you host your AW, uh, your uh, database, your uh, big data application ah. in the EC2, that ah. is not the right place. Achha. The computational cost will be very high. Very high. very high and you can the company will not provide this kind of thing because uh-huh. if we have another suitable application for that why are you going to the ec2 ha uh-huh. first before going to host your websites uh-huh. or application first you have to analyze what uh-huh. is my requirement ha uh-huh. ha because aws is providing so many things correct okay but in the two tier application mm. front end application we are not going this kind of thing we are uh-huh. host this service in the S3 S3 bucket S3 okay. service. Okay, got it. Because where S3 is very cheap, I mm-hmm. I just want to host. I just want to store the service, right? Mm-hmm. I just want to host. I want to store the index dot HTML. Correct. Ultimately, Angular React provide me the Java uh-huh. three files, main uh-huh. three files, uh-huh. index dot HTML, JS and CSS. Correct. So that's why EC2 is not the right place. You uh-huh. just store in the S3 bucket, and uh-huh. from the S3 you can. Uh, you can take all the things right okay, okay got it this is the main purpose ah uh, got it and got it ets is the kubernetes service dedicatedly for the kubernetes job uh, the kubernetes you know that is the pods the uh, deployment the container uh, re- registration container uh, they will manage right yes so if you have some kubernetes service docker uh, service that's uh, a, that's why ets is uh, the best place uh, and if you using that 
some machine learning algorithm ah. like python mm. they are using the time series applications like like in the machine learning model supervised and supervised reinforcement learning ah. right For that example. time you have to use the acs service Achha. so before going to take dive means which service i will go you have ah. to analyze what is my requirement and what is aws has been provided Got this it. is a mutual model acha i i start, start started this thing the mutual model means you have provide something and aws has provide something uh -huh. and uh -huh. then a security aws will provide if you will go to the pass service right this okay. kind of things aws provide you just host your host your application and okay. elastic beanstalk that i will come in the uh -huh. elastic beanstalk you only host your application Okay. No need to think about anything. AWS will take take care all the things, okay. right? Okay. So this is the service. AWS Lambda is the Lambda when you have to connect your Node.js application to the API, right? Okay. So it's the event-based service. Event. Ah. Some events are generating. Ah, 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 okay. Ah. That time we are using Lambda. Lambda then. Restful API we are creating. That time we are using AWS Lambda. Uh -huh. So, if you are put a replication, what is the requirement? You tell me the first index dot HTML or code base content. One is backend, right? Mm -hmm. On the backend, if you are reading Node.js, uh -huh. so Node.js, what we will do in the Node.js application, uh -huh. the Node.js code I will write in the AWS Lambda right. because AWS Lambda ultimately mm -hmm. returns me the some events, mm -hmm. and the event I will host in the one service is there AWS API Gateway, right? Mm -hmm. In the in the event, I will I will map with the AWS API gateway, and it will create ah. within a second one API. Ah. So your API is ready. Ah. You have to call the API from the front end application. Ah. It's a RESTful API. Ah. The AWS will provide one link for yes. the RESTful API, right? Mm. And this link you have to call call from your front end application. Okay. 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 And then you store in the AWS application. Uh, you have to store your front end oh. in the S3 bucket. You have oh. to store your database, your RDS. If you are using the SQL or MySQL database, this SQL service you have to provide. You have to store in the RDS mm -hmm. one the database service. I'll tell in the mm -hmm. database service and AWS Lambda you are using for your computation event computation for that. Okay. So no need to go in the EC2 right now. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, okay. And this is called the serverless application. Serverless mm -hmm. means there. Uh, so many people are thinking that there is no server without no. server. So server is there, uh -huh. but these servers are taken care by the AWS. You uh -huh. need to take care of them. Uh -huh. That's why it's Different. called the serverless. Different virtualization has been created on a single server. Yes. So server is there. This is called the a model. Serverless uh -huh. means. There is, so it sounds that there is no server, but ah. it 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 that is that does not happening that without server anything is working. Okay, right. server server is there, but servers are structured through the AWS own services, Got like it. core services, computation services, the structured way they have created this thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you have Red Sheep, DynamoDB. This is called that. If you're using the MongoDB, right? MongoDB type of application. Yes, yes. So yes. this is the no structured, no structured. I Means there is no schema, right? Achha. If you have no schema mm -hmm. in your DB, that time you are using Amazon DynamoDB. No need to go the SQL because okay. RDS they have provided two dedicated server for the RDS and Amazon. Amazon okay, DynamoDB. tell me something. How can uh, data can be stored without a schema? Hello. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Uh, how can a data can be stored without a schema? Like yes. um, a model should be required, right? Uh, to store any kind of data. It, it, it could be on NoSQL, it could be on SQL. Huh. Yes. Yeah. No SQL means there are no schema means uh, you have one JSON file, right? So in the JSON, you have to look here. You have some key ah. value. But the difference, the Amazon RDS also looks like a JSON. Ah. If you export this thing, ah. and Amazon DynamoDB also export this thing, it looks like JSON. The difference is that ah. if the model is the RDBMS, Achy. relational database. 
Uh -huh. There you you cannot inject one key inside this model. Correct. You know you are not inject anything. Uh -huh. But in the no schema model, that means if you can add one key inside the Amazon DynamoDB service. Sure. Means okay. if one table, right? Uh -huh. This table looks two uh, two tables. The same table. If I will host in the Amazon RDS, this is there is one relation with the relation. To whom relation with the model, the uh -huh. interface. Correct. Right. The metadata relation with the metadata. Yes. Metadata with the relation. So there you cannot inject one value inside this metadata. Achha. Metadata will validate these things. This this key I will know from the previous method or hmm. previous model. If hmm. it's ever they can also inject. But in the Amazon DynamoDB, this is a service. The no 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 schema based data. So here you can inject anything inside the DB. Okay. okay, got it. So this is the difference between the RDB mesh and no schema. If you have this kind of application, that time you are host in the Amazon DynamoDB. This application. Okay, this table, this database you are hosting in the DynamoDB. Okay, okay. got it. Networking services means we have uh, the servers so servers what we require we have to connect with each other right the servers so we require some networking so networking aws has 26 regions and 77 availability zones provide the global coverage means across the world amazon has these regions and this availability zone so inside the regions, availability zones are coming. And in the networking services, they are also very strong and secure. You, you will encrypt your data. You are connect your private network, means VPN. So in, in our office, you have some global protect, right? If you, if you have some virtual private cloud is there, network is there. So VPN is there. So this is called the networking service. Also, Amazon will provide this is called the amazon networking service amazon vpc amazon cloud front these all services for the networking amazon aws will provide amazon route 53 means everything is covered your api is ready your application is ready you have to host your application and you have to route your application in different zones so how can i do that that's why amazon route 53 is come in, come into the picture and cloud front cloud front this concept i will cover the just i will just touch one thing that amazon cloud front is used for cache service means if you have if you, you, you all know the cdn link right content delivery network this is a cloud cache service means i have one i i have one application and i have hosted the application in the mumbai regions right in the in the india in the mumbai region but from the us if this application will open i will hit this web url from the us us location so it's taking so much time the latency will be very high if we are not using the cloud front the cache service so it takes some time because my data center means my server my application my routing my services all are placed in the mumbai but I am going to try to, to get the application from the US, 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 the US region. So without Amazon Cloud Form, Amazon CDN, we are not achieving this first, first, first delivery. So that's why Cloud Fund will come into the picture. So that's why Cloud Fund is there. And uh, this is the uh, how we are going to sign up. This link is there, so I'm uh, showing how we go to this Amazon Fast page. Any questions after that? Hello. No, Pastor. Okay. So, this is your. Also, login. 
you have to go over there and create your AWS account. Okay. This will come. So I suggest you have to log in first. Otherwise, I'm not going to enter these things. So AWS management console, this page will come if you successfully log in. So you have to log in with that IM user, okay, or sorry, root user. So you have provide your email ID, your email verification will be there. And it will take, I think, one to two days and they will activate this thing. So I request everybody to do these things. From today itself, so it within tomorrow when you come to the next class, that time your activation will be done. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this service I cannot. I have this management console, but you cannot delete this thing, right? Mm -hmm. So every uh, things I will show. So that's why I'm telling. Okay. Yes. So this is the first class. Uh, you have provided these things. Any questions, anything, if you have, then you can ask me. So this link I will share with you. This link, hello, yes, perfect. Ah, you have this link, right? Hmm. Just try to open your uh, account over yeah. there. Then, tomorrow, I'll start one service that is S3. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Means, uh, this is a five or six years training, so you all understood that everything will not be covered, mm -hmm. not possible to so. But one two tier application, how we can host that, I can show you. Mm -hmm. This these things will be covered because it requires many things, means many time also required. So we mm -hmm. have only five days. So this how much uh, service I have provided, this I will provide, and some links I will provide in the group. We will also go and start with this link that will be beneficial for you. Okay. I will create one application, two tier application. I will use S3, a lambda service, I will show, and API gateway, and this EC2. These four things I will cover. Mm -hmm. So many things are there, so many services are there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We need to log in with learning mate or uh, email ID, no? No, no, no. You, I don't know whether learning mate will uh, provide means they will accept or not. Uh -huh. So do your own email ID, na personal okay. email ID, and mm. then do this. Thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, you. Understood, right? Yes. Yes. What, what the cloud computing, how the model are going on. Uh, yeah. Because first, first we have to uh, know this the what's the cloud computing, what's the models mm. we are going to build. Okay. Mm, so if first we are starting from the AWS, so underlying the underlying so many layers are there, right? Mm. So this should be in the dig deeper. Otherwise, you cannot understood. Yeah. The end of the day, right? Is a main problem, so people are not understood that AWS means the service. Oh. First, you have to know what is your requirement, mm. and as per your requirement, you tailored made service you can use. Mm. Okay. Uh. Okay. Ask any questions. Uh, no, no questions. I now understood. Okay. okay. So before coming to the next class, you have to mm. sign in. Yeah. Log. Okay. Uh. And then, uh, why uh, your um, uh, one name uh, Omunath is there, right? Sorry. Oh, Omunath is there, right? Uh, who is that? 
common na he is coming na sometimes you know ha ah, yeah they came they joined and like i don't know okay then they ha uh, left the meeting maybe they had network issue so i may i will stop my sharing yeah so tomorrow i'll come in this hmm. meeting okay thank you kashik hmm. if you have any problem you can ask me huh. and please give means if you want feedback is given please do the do your feedback sure sure okay. if you are not satisfied if you are not understood nahi nahi understood okay yeah okay bye thank you bye hmm.